it's Jack, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic 2021. Yes, indeed, what a beautiful day here in uh, Sleepyville, Arizona, I believe. Anyway, I've got something special today. Uh, I thought I'd start my own stories. Jack's stories. Mm -hmm. Showcasing some of the additional vehicles you can get in Car Mechanic 2021. This is a modded vehicle. It is the Land Rover Defender, I believe, from 1997. You can pick this up if you go to the uh, Steam page for Car Mechanic 2021. Go to the Community Hub, which is on the right hand side. There's a little uh, thing you can click there, a little button you can click. Go to Workshops, go to Cars, and then you can basically subscribe to I guess the mod developers if you like and then when you reboot the game or restart the game you should be able to find this Land Rover in a junkyard scrapyard or wherever in addition to that if you come over to the computer over here well I have a tablet as well over here we have all the bits and pieces that you can buy for the Land Rover Defender okay it states very clearly to say car mod and you can come in here and there's all sorts of bits and pieces you can buy for the car. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I've got to give a shout out to the uh, to the people that made this. The guy or lady, maybe I don't know, who made this is a guy called Dead Bob Seven Seven Seven. I will leave a link if possible below, uh, and then I will also obviously sh give him a shout out in this video and also in the in the details somewhere. It's a great mod. It's not perfect, but it's it's pretty damn near. Uh, okay, so. This is the story. Farmer Palmer has bought in one of his Land Rovers for some repairs. And if you haven't met Farmer Palmer before, I will leave a link in the description to my 2018 video where I met Farmer Palmer for the first time. So, as you can see, it's a very nice example of a Land Rover Defender. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, let's just take it outside real quick and I'll give you a quick showdown of what... Uh, What's in the uh, what's in the uh, in the mod? Beautiful, isn't it? Hey, there's a couple of uh, bits and pieces that Farmer Farmer wants me to work on. I'll go through those shortly. Uh, it's running a beautiful, beautiful engine. It's running the amazing V8 single overhead cam, uh, developing 220 horsepower. Uh, you can put all these different. Uh, engines in as well so you've got plenty of swap options you've actually got six swap options which is fantastic uh they're worth a pretty penny actually farmer palmer paid four thousand for this one uh it's now worth uh 40 grand and it's not in tip-top condition no performance parts uh condition no bonus for that because it's in a little bit of rough shape in, in some areas but then it is a farm vehicle so what do you expect inside uh you can get what you well, what you'd expect really it's a farm vehicle you know uh not uh, not too clean but uh, also, not not too shabby. You know, it's not not bad in here as well, is it? Look at all that, hmm? all the four-wheel drive stuff and all that great stuff. I'm not actually sure if it's got a four-wheel drive uh, piece of kit on this actually. Anyway, well, uh, start it up and you can listen to that. Uh, there's no oil in the engine. You cannot perform this action. Oh, Mr. Palmer, eh? Get off my land, as he says. Anyway, uh, sorry, I didn't finish showing you the inside of the vehicle, did I? Yeah, so as you can see, you know, I mean, it's it's pretty true to life. I did own a Land Rover once in my uh, in my younger days. It was nothing like this, so it's from 19, God, I think it was 79, short wheelbase. Nothing as nice as this. So, yeah, uh, so what does Farmer Palm want me to do with it? Well, basically, he would like me to check out... Uh, the power from the vehicle or you say it's not pulling as it should it's it's crunching the gears which he's not too happy with obviously uh, and I can see there's no oil in it so that's probably one of the issues but he also had a bit of a uh, bit of a fight with a uh, shall we say a bush on the farm he's trashed the uh, the right hand side here he said could I repair this for him uh, he's lost the light off the, the grill off the light here He's lost his number plate, and this is a bit shabby as well. This has been knocked about. He has had a new wheel put on, brand new wheel, uh, because that was also damaged in the accident. He's got new tyres on all round, so he said don't bother with the rest of the tyres. But he'd also like this, uh, whatever this luggage rack is, he'd like this taking off. He was using it during the summer for some reason, I don't know, for carrying stuff around. Uh, he'd like that removing because he thinks it's too high, and it uh, causes problems when going under, you know, some of the low-hanging stuff on the farm. Uh, number plate's a bit dodgy there, but uh, in the back, 
very nice indeed yeah obviously room for four passengers in here so it'll actually carry uh, six people uh, in total or you can take these out and just put whatever you want in so yeah it's a really nice really nice uh, really nice example so uh, thanks for that dead bob 777 for this uh, wonderful mod anyway let's crack on with what we need to do uh, I just realized there's uh, no oil in uh, which is surprising really because I don't know how he got it here uh, well, let's have a quick look. Well, okay, there is, there is some oil in it, okay, but but not much. Uh, we'll just top that up, I think. We'll just top that up, and then uh, once we've done all the other little jobs on it, we'll uh, we'll crank it over, and you can hear what it sounds like. Three, four, five, six, seven. I lost count there. Normally count to seven, then it's all done. But let me just uh, double check. Oh yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Okay, so straight off the bat, he said it's not pulling like it should. Uh, well, let's just give it a quick, uh, there's no washer fluid either. Uh, let's give it a quick compression test. Well, at least it turns over. Okay, there's, uh, some of the pistons are a bit dodgy. I mean, some of the pistons are a bit dodgy. Uh, I mean, they're not, they're within, you know, tolerance. They're okay. There's nothing below 20%. Uh, but uh, not great. But I'm not going to fix all those. But he's not asked me to fix those. He's asked me to kind of locate the source of where, you know, why it's not pulling uh, like it should. So that's one thing. Uh, let's just quick check. Has it got an OBD, BBD, BBB scanner? Oh, it has indeed. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, we like this. We like this. OBD. Oh, spark plugs are a bit, well, two... Two spark plugs are a bit dark. Ignition coils are brand new. Spark plugs are brand new. Well, I mean, it's looking after it. It's nice. Uh, do, do, do. What else have we got? What else have we got? Yeah, two, okay, two spark plugs. We could replace those two spark plugs. Uh, it might give a bit more oomph, but, I mean, again, they're within tolerance. I mean, they're not They're not completely knackered. Uh, we'll just check the electrics real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. I mean, come on, this is all in, in really good shape. But this wouldn't really affect it. So, oh, medium fuse type. There's a medium fuse a bit dodgy. And radiator fan housing. Uh, that could be part of it. Mm. Obviously, with this being my own story, Farmer Palmer, you don't get all the lovely, you know, stuff up here to say, you know, what, you know, what, uh, what needs to be done, what jobs need to be done. So you just have to bear with me, and you know, I hope you enjoy this story. I, it's fun for me to do. It certainly is. Uh, okay, we're just going to check the fuel. Uh, I think that's the last thing we're going to check is the fuel pressure test. There's nothing wrong with that. So what else? What else? I mean, I saw the radiator, or rather the uh, the fan housing was dodgy. Okay, okay, we've got something here. Uh, okay, these are not great. Water pump, pulley, and I can't take it on the dyno because that dyno because I haven't got the dyno. Dyno, dyno. <laughs> I haven't got the dyno either. I haven't got a dyno or a dyno. Uh, either way, I can't check. The performance of it because I'm not sh I'm not shelling out 20 grand for that no, no, no chance Mr. Palmer Mr. Palmer farmer okay so I tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, we're gonna whack these off real quick because uh, this is an eat this is easy isn't it? I mean this is tension is nothing is it so we'll take that off uh, take this belt off what? belt's brand new he's obviously had a lot of work done on this uh, as the old farmer but then I guess you know being a farmer I guess he needs the stuff to be uh, in, in good fettle, doesn't he? He needs it to be reliable. Okay, that's easy enough. Let's just put these back on. And he did say, you know, don't go delving into the engine. Just find out what's what's what could be the potential problem with it. Uh, let's put one of these on. We've got plenty of rollers stocked up on those. That's good. And then uh, I believe we just put this back on. Well, that one, there's a tensioner, of course. Don't forget that. Otherwise, it's not going anywhere. Okay, well that's all all nicely done. Uh, do we want to take off this radiator fan ha housing? Ah, I think we should just leave that maybe. Okay, so something else is amiss somewhere. Mm, air filter potentially. I'd like to take that off, please. Thank you. 
Okay, that clip's good. You know, it's amazing that the, if the clips are not good, yeah, it can actually affect the uh, the performance of the car. I, I don't really don't understand that. I, I just doesn't. So the air filter cover is 26%. Air filter looks good. I'll just take it off just to be 100% sure. Uh, air filter's 100%, and the air filter base is 32. I mean, that's all good. I mean, we're not going to replace any of that. Uh, oh, I just did. I just did. Because I happened to have one in stock. So, of course, it picked the good one, didn't it? Uh, so, let's just put this back together. And I can actually see now, now that I'm on the back of the car here, back of the engine, I can see exactly what problem the problem might be. Uh, that was oh, that was new. Yeah, look at that gearbox down there. Looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it? So, what we're going to do is we're going to... He had a dodgy clipper. You know what? I'm going to put a new clip on for the sake of argument. He can have a new clip. I mean, what are they? A few, a few credits. So no worries there. Uh, okay. So I think I've figured out what's goosed on this. He said it was clunking around in the gears a little bit, and it would seem mm, got a dodgy exhaust uh, there. Other side seems okay. Uh, exhaust is not great, but I'm not replacing that. I think this is this is this is it. I think this is absolutely screwed. So let's just uh, remove this. We need to remove the starter motor as well, of course. Uh, and then we we'll just check it. And then, if necessary, we'll have to uh, to re well, depending on how bad it is, we might have to replace it. Uh, I mean, starter motor is what? What's that? At? Looks looks new. 100%. That's obviously. Uh, been replaced recently. So what's this gearbox? What state's it in? Oh, 12%. Can't even be fixed either. Well, now I'm here, I'll just quickly just uh, rip down the rest of this just to see what it's all at. I mean, the release bearing was at 60%. That's fine. Uh, uh, uh. Then we go here and here. That's at 40%. That That's a little dodgy, that one, to be fair. Uh, and the flywheel looks a little shot as well, 26%. Well, seeing as it's a farm vehicle, and Farmer Palmer is obviously doing a lot of, you know, heavy lo heavy lifting and with this, uh, I think the easiest thing to do is just to, to get a new flywheel for this. I think that's probably just going to do do the right thing by him. Uh, they're quite expensive, the 500 for a flywheel. Uh, but And then I think the gearbox as well. We're going to have to rip that out. Uh, so no engine work. He said, uh, you know, lay off the engine, which is fine, because you know. But that's at uh, that's a forty percent. We're going to stick that in because I'm down this far into it. Let's just get it all done. Uh, but it's going to be a bit of a bill for him because uh, what this was, I think, sixty percent, wasn't it? It was, but for the price of that, should we not just shove a new one in? I mean, it's only thirty-five credits, Let's, and then it's then it's a brand new gearbox, isn't it? Okay, so then, oh, we don't have one of these. That's going to be expensive. That is going to be expensive. Oh, actually, that's not bad. Eight ninety one with my discount as well. Uh, so a little bit more off than that. I thought that was going to be like a grand and a half or something. Oh, that's nice. We like that. We do indeed. Frank, make us a coffee. Frank's not here. If you want to see who Frank is, go and watch one of my other videos. The Wild Case. It's quite funny. I think you'll enjoy it. Protagonist in there called Frank. Nothing to do with this car sim, but it's a great video. Go and watch it. It makes me laugh. Okay, so that's all done and dusted. Going to put the starter motor back on. Uh, and then we're going to crack on with those small repairs that he needs doing to the, uh, to the body. I've actually ordered the parts in already for the body because uh, obviously it took some time to arrive. Are you enjoying this story? It's good, isn't it? So we're just going to. Uh... No, we're going to take this off. Uh, and then it's great, isn't it? Doesn't look fantastic. Let's take this. Can we actually. Could we fix that? I mean, I've got. No, it's 16%. I probably could actually fix that. Uh. He's got a new tyre, he said, and wheel. Rim, sorry. Uh, can am I able to fix that? That one, I don't, because that's that's different than what's already on the car. Because uh, I need one with a, with a grill. Can I get this? Can I? Anyway. 
Right, it's a good job I bought one in, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Let's shove this on. Okay. And then uh, one with the grill. There we go. And he needs a number plate, but I want to match it to the one on the back. I don't know what the back, what that back one says. Does it say? I can't see it. What's it say? Sasquatchin. What? Okay, okay. Well, that's what we need. So I need to get a plate. I guess it's that one. So we'll put the uh, the old one back on. He's not asked me to replace that. Uh, so that's the old one on the back. And he's not asked me to respray it either. I mean, he's no, I don't want it, uh, you know. Which is fine, you know, it's a farm vehicle. As long as it's protected with the undercoat, it should be fine, shouldn't it? Shouldn't be any issues there. Okay, well, that's all good. And then he said, could I remove this uh, monstrosity up here? Uh, of course I can. Uh, let's just get rid of it. So this is actually, it's noted, as you see, as a rear clamshell, okay? Uh, so you can take this off, and just like you do. Now, if you wanted to, because you can also have the, uh, there's a sunroof up there, if you look up there. So if you go on to doing the body again, see that rear clamshell? It might be confusing, but when it says clamshell, when you go into the parts up here, because it's a modded vehicle, uh, you have to come over here. There's a few different clamshells you can put on this uh, particular uh, mod. So you see here, this is also a clamshell and also this one. So because we don't leave a hole in the roof, we're going to buy this sunroof, which actually says it says sunroof, obviously, but it's part of the clamshell part for the car. You see, all of these are the same, all these clamshells here. So just so you don't, uh, you can also get the pickup version as well, sorry, uh, which maybe you didn't know that there's a pickup uh, version of this uh, particular particular mod. So now we can put that in. So when it says rear clamshell, I can do this and it'll pick up now the sunroof and you get the sunroof in there. Isn't that brilliant, eh? Really cool. So if you don't, have never used a mod before, then, uh, you know, just check them out. They're really good. You do get some issues with them. I'll give you a quick, uh, just to show you real quick here. You know when you put the suspension in, uh, they don't always line up, or sometimes the exhaust don't line up, or something. Uh, you can see here, for example, if I just go up here. Uh, you see this here? See the shock absorber. Although it's perfectly normal when you put it when you you know put it onto the car initially, it it, it does this. It's just kind of misaligned. But I mean it's no big deal. It's just cosmetic. I think it looks brilliant either way. Okay, so I've talked a lot now. Uh, but 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 now I think we've done all the jobs that uh, he asked us to do. It's looking very very nice, isn't it? Really good. Right. Well, now we've got oil in the car. Oh, I did say I'd have to do the uh, the washing fluid for him as well. The wa the wind washer fluid wind washer <laughs> windshield what are you talking about jack and then i think we should be uh should be good one two three four five six seven okay that's that done brilliant okay let's just move this outside and then you can uh take a good look at it in the sunshine and also uh we'll start it up Look at all that now for you, Mr. Mr. Farmer Palmer. All fixed up for you. Isn't that lovely? And these windows here are all one. So this, this, and this one. Yeah, it's all one left body window. Uh, really well done. I'm loving it. Okay, so let's start it up. Ooh, doesn't that sound like a proper farm vehicle? Well, there we go. So, don't forget uh, to, uh, you know, go and visit the uh, the uh, the mods in the Steam Workshop. Uh, yeah, subscribe to them. You just click a little button, subscribe. You get a little arrow next to the next to the picture of the car. 
and there's loads of st good stuff in there you know and a good shout out again once more to uh, deadbob777 thank you so much for this it's uh, been a pleasure showcasing this thank you very much and as to all of you guys out there and girls thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much for watching if you like this kind of story mode where you know it's a little bit off the track and a bit of a backstory obviously I created this whole story and the whole car to fit it all together it took a bit of time you know to get it to the right condition and everything uh, but you know if you like this drop drop me a comment and say yeah we'd like to see some more of this Jack and if, if then don't drop me a sub it all helps me out a great deal uh, and again thank you so much for dropping by I really really appreciate it and Jack's out <laughs>